So, welcome to the biggest project of my life. Before we get started, I just want to say that I'm not a professional. I just got learned all this stuff off YouTube. But I do take my work seriously, and to the best of my knowledge, I don't cut corners. So, hopefully I can help you out with something here. And hopefully, uh, if you know something that I don't, hopefully you can help me out. Just, you know, don't be crazy about it. Um, so, what you're looking at here is the basement before we started on the verge of collapse. It was cracked on all four walls. I bought the house not knowing it was like this. Um, they had drywalled all over it, and obviously it had water damage, so um, I tore it all down and found this. And uh, what you're looking at right now is called the trench plate system. <clears throat> I paid $7,000 to a company called uh, Dry Mesh or Michigan Foundation Systems, and they came out and did this. They dug um, two trenches and jackhammered a long, long pole. Uh, and sandwich the wall back in use the earth to do it torqued on those uh, on those poles for a little while and uh, they just foamed the outside and called it good they didn't even tuck point anything and obviously it was still leaking like a waterfall so <clears throat> complete waste of money but what I did get out of the out of the situation was I, I learned I asked the foreman on the job I learned how to do this I just went out and bought a bunch of I-beams and cemented them into the ground and braced them on the ceiling and, and he said it'd hold the wall until I could uh, obtain the money to, to do it. Because these companies wanted 40 or 50 grand to do uh, the basement, you know, the right way. And they were trying to talk me out of it, by the way. But here's the plans I drew up, but I just submitted them and they got approved for my permit and uh, never got bothered about it but that's the wood I picked up on Facebook and then that's the wood I got from Menards I saved about a thousand dollars finding that wood on Facebook and it was even bigger six by eights but here's all the cribbing I set up we ran six by sixes all along the house we ran six by six cribbing and six by eight cribbing we ran five sets all the cribbing had 30 ton jacks on it or 60,000 pounds uh, so it was rated for well over the weight of the house along with all the the, the jack poles um, that we had which were about 20 of them we had industrial ones and store-bought ones. Um, so we started digging once the, ho once the house was all braced and uh, started on the tightest tightest spot. Uh, we rented this uh, excavator from Home Depot. It was about 1200 bucks, so it wasn't too bad. I just got me and all my friends to come out and do all this, um, you know, because obviously I couldn't pay those 40 or 50, 50 grand to do that. So, um, you know... Just paid all my buddies 25 an hour and my uh, skilled guys 40, which were my family, it was my brother and my uncle. And I know the post says 38 an hour, but I just end up making it 40 to make it easier on the math. And when the demo actually started, my heart was like sinking into my feet, like, did I get this right? You know? But it was a combined 720 20 man hours, and I had to buy that trailer too because the dumping fees were insane, so I might as well just bought that trailer and put a down payment on it as well you know can use it more in, in the future but we're working rain sleet or snow just going at it i took off 11 days um by the way who needs a ladder <laughs> just kidding you should definitely use a ladder uh but i took off 11 days um for work so we had a tight schedule and we just busted it out there was days that i had 15 16 hour days but everyone stuck stuck through they were champs started the demo and you know got after it by the way, the demo was super easy because the walls were not filled with any grout nor rebar, literally anything. It was just completely hollow um, until you got to the course block, the first course. Um, that was the only part that was tough. So here's end of day two, I think it was. Day two or day two, day three. Um, it was crazy to see my house just floating there like that. But that morning we got the rest of that course ripped up and foundation was good. Uh, it was a weight lifted off my heart. It was a blessing, honestly. Uh, it fit right in the time frame, so it couldn't have worked out better. We only had 11 days to do it. You know? So we got to lay in this wall, front wall, immediately. Started putting in rebar. Mm -hmm. uh, this piece of wood right here. So Listen, are you, to come off. For sure. Are you guys all done? You guys got We're going to um, take a lunch. Is yeah. that all right, boss? No, yeah, th <laughs> that's what I was saying. I want, I want everyone to say... <laughs> No, I wanted to make sure everyone was taking a break at the same time. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't mean to be like that. No, dude. No, you're a good boss. Keep it going. That's fucking what you got to do, dude. We also kept those steel beams in there, too, because uh, 
when we're doing the demo, it, we we're making sure it wouldn't knock out any of the cribbing. But none of it, none of it even came in anyways. It all just crumbled straight out. But so that third day, I think it was, uh, we started getting this wall up, almost all the way up. Got the grout and rebar in. Here's a tour of the job site. So much trash, so much stuff everywhere. Super thankful I had, you know, uh, a couple extra lots. This is Detroit, by the way. Um, so in Detroit, you can buy your abandoned lots for a hundred dollars a piece. Um, which, by the way, I, I only got this house for like four grand. It was super cheap. Um, so I, I justify all this work I put into it. I actually remodeled the whole um, inside as well, and bought or I built that barn myself. Uh, back there as well. I'm gonna make a video about all that stuff too, but that's before I thought about doing YouTube stuff. So, um, but we took back all this uh, concrete to this uh, Detroit Recycling. I want one of those. But we <laughs> took back all this concrete, just Detroit Recycling for free. We took it all. Um, it was like six trips. Um, it was like a hundred thousand pounds of concrete. I think it was. It was crazy. I think one of the misconceptions I had about this job is uh, I thought it was like something that there's there's no way a normal dude could, could tackle this. That's the way that these companies were selling it to me and it made me feel like I was in over my head. But after all, everything was all said and done. I can tell you that all it really takes, and as most things in life, is, is a little bit of common sense, a lot of hard work, and uh, you know, just getting after it. You need a, you need a few, few guys that are skilled with the trowel, you know, handy, handy with the trowel. And, uh, and a lot of young, healthy guys that are willing to, to put that work in. And at the end of the day, if you got those components with money, you'll throw it together. I think all together, this ended up costing me um, somewhere around $24,000. But that's a hell of a lot better than, you know, 40 or 50 grand from a company. And I got to, I got to put money in, in my friends and family's pockets. Not only, you know, any money, but, you know, I'd say good money, at least for over here in Detroit. Also, one thing you'll notice too is we we're building as we we're tearing down, and that's just because it was the most efficient way to uh, to do this project in, in my time crunch. Everything ended up working out too. I was exactly on schedule, even with a couple mishaps. So couldn't be happier with that. Here's another little walkthrough of the the job site. My cousin's putting on that first layer of, of waterproofing. Uh, we got that back corner lead started and the long side wall. Everything's going real smooth. Um, got that all finished up. Have to wait for that to dry to put on the foundation coating and the blackjack for uh, the rest of the waterproofing. And here's the end of day four, day five. One thing that I thought was a good idea to, to, to do too while we had these walls down was put this egress window in. You know, it was a little bit of extra money, but I figured why not. Uh, didn't really take us too much, you know, any extra time or anything like that. So uh, hopefully it helps the resale value and, and get something out of that. Here we are on the last wall, getting the last of the demo out. At this point, your forearms are on fire because you've moved 800 block two or three times. Well, actually even more than that because we're not even counting all the demo block too or even heavier. And you know, I, regarding that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that might think, uh, you know, I'm crazy for doing this myself or, uh, you know, like trying to tackle a project like this. But in my eyes, I have this philosophy on most things. It's like, I just want to have a, a good understanding of, you know, of everything that I come in contact in life and anything that I may have a problem with in the future. You know, like who's to say that, uh, you know, I might I might never have a problem with with a basement like this at any point in my life. You know, I'm 26 years old, I got a long road ahead of me. I just wanna know as much as possible. And when you really think about it, I was cornered anyways. Like it was either lose out on the investment or learn how to do this. You know, because I, there was no way I was coming up with the, you know, that insane amount of money. And if I did come up with that, that, that money, I was doing uh, you know, a hell of a lot of work to lose money on the house entirely. And obviously no one's going to buy this house with the, the walls caving in. And if they did, you know, I'm sure they wouldn't offer me much more than what I bought it for. So I'm sure I'm missing out on some valuable information to give you too. But um, I'm trying my best to keep it together. So if I miss anything, just, just let me know in the comments. Um, but so we ordered all this gravel for the drain tile. 
um, to drink tile on the outside and the inside. Which tile in itself, the name is misleading because it's not actually tile, it's just pipe with holes in it. And just to break down the spending a little bit more too, so I end up spending six or seven thousand dollars in materials, like with the block, rock, sand, all that good stuff. And then it was like roughly five thousand for the wooden jack post. So if you can find yourself a hookup on wooden jack posts, you're already saving yourself five grand right there. So you're down to nineteen. I paid labor. Uh, labor was twelve thousand dollars at twenty-five and forty an hour, along with some bonuses at the end, you know, for leftover money or whatever. But if you can find cheaper labor, you're like you have kids or, uh, you know family that that's down to do that oh you for favors or whatever you can cut 12 grand or maybe even half that out probably not the whole you still need to give some something but you cut a large part of that out and you know end up doing this job for maybe 14 15 grand but we ordered 12 yards of top so i'm a little helper out here help me grade it all doing such a great job <laughs> um i end up having to order more rocks for the driveway too because, you know, we messed it up with all the dirt. But, man, I was having so much fun in the skid steer. <clears throat> I never realized how useful these things are. And, like, <laughs> the wheelies on them, too. But, uh, yeah, man, like, all the attachments that come with these, like, um, how fast. It, like, that's the thing. It's like, you rent this thing for $1,200 for the week. Compare that to paying someone for $1,200 a week. Do you think a human could outwork one of these machines and obviously you need a human to operate that too but like even two humans you think two humans could outwork this fucking skid steer probably not <sighs> gotta save up help me out on youtube i don't want to say like like subscribe and all that all that shit makes me feel weird but you know help your boy out but here's the last of it um just gotta finish up the the cement we're done thanks for the watch if you guys have any questions or anything like that just let me know